I also need to talk dividends. Wow. What? You, uh, impress me every time we talk. Because I know business? No, because you're not who you look to be. Yeah, I get that a lot. Hmm. So even though these scenes were relatively filler in the grand scheme of episode seven and eight, we did have some, dang, this freaking chair, um, Bryce and Preston scenes that kind of stood out. And that's the fact that at first we kind of went through the same repetitiveness of last week where we have Preston who's just sitting outside of the house waiting on Zach to come by. I believe at this point he was there for, you know, the signature on the papers. And Deja came out with a drink and, you know, we have Preston still on the whole. Look, I think what you're doing is just an act. Like this person who's like overly aggressive and sexual, I don't think this is who you really are. And, you know, Deja is getting more, you know, frustrated with Preston because regardless of what she tries, he's still not giving it up to her. So then Bryce stops by and he and Preston sit out there and wait for a while. So these two have a couple of scenes together where they're just kind of talking more like uh, Bryce is trying to carry a conversation. Preston's like, I'm just chilling, waiting. So that's that. And he pretty much makes it clear that, you know, when Bryce says, oh, yeah, um, yeah, you still don't trust me. And then Preston rightfully says, well, you know, I still don't know you. And then on top of that, the little bit he does know about Bryce definitely wouldn't entice anyone to want to get to know him on a more personal level. But the point I'm trying to talk about is the one moment where, uh, yeah, I didn't think you had that kind of money. Well, most people don't. Yeah, most people probably think you're not as smart, huh? No, most people don't think I would know much about business savvy stuff involving money because I talk country. And then Bryce, oh, oh, he kind of had to backtrack there because he unknowingly, you know, made an assumption about Preston's intelligence when in fact that people underestimate him simply because of his country demeanor, not necessarily that he's dumb. But regardless, there is that one moment where Bryce kind of looks at him like, oh yeah, that's impressive. And I'm thinking to myself, bro, don't, don't, don't give those eyes to Preston like you're attracted to him or anything because I theorized about that. I'm like, Lord, please don't let it be where Bryce tries to make a move on Preston. And it's like, nah, because unlike Zach, who has Fatima to calm him down, Preston will probably one shot him and that'll be a wrap. Like, just don't do it this route. Like, I still don't like Bryce as a character. He's untrustworthy, but I wish we could seemingly drop the whole thing about him, you know, trying to come on to these guys who clearly are A, not into him like that, and B, they're straight. Just, I hope, I hope that is not the route they are going. I mean, the scene was kind of awkward, but then again, I guess it was meant to portray some awkward energy between the two, but we'll just have to wait and see how things play out as the episodes unfold, but... Yeah, Bryce, just kind of back off. This is just one of those things where in a moment where some people will give him good grace, like, oh, yeah, he and Angela are friends. He does some crap to another person that makes you go and see this is why we don't like his ass. So we'll see how things uh, unfold between him and Bryce. I mean, him and Preston as the season unfolds, Um, you know, in the next couple episodes. Then in episode 11, we still know that um, Bryce and Zach still aren't on talking terms. So either Bryce does something else that pisses Zach off or they just haven't had a conversation since the whole hospital thing. But let's talk about in the comments below, like, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.